Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to explain part 200 of Java for Tester series. That is statements execution in try block. Let's say guys, there is a try block. Okay, we generally have this try catch blocks like this, right? Like this, we have this try catch blocks in our programs. And in the try block, let's say there are a few statements. Statement one, then we have statement two, and then statement three, and so on. Okay. Let's say for now, let's say there are some three statements inside this try block. And associatedly, we have this catch block. Okay. Now, guys. Let's say the exception has occurred at this statement one. Exception occurred here. What will happen, guys? What will happen when this first statement inside this try block has resulted in an exception? What are the consequences here? Consequences, nothing but the statement and statement two and statement three won't be executed. Okay. This both the statements that is statement two and statement three, which are coming after the execution, uh, that is exception, won't be executed because inside this try block, though we have multiple statements, in the first statements we got this exception because we got the exception in the first statement itself. Okay, the control will go from, okay, the control will go from here to here. We directly go to the catch block. Okay, without by skipping the statement two and statement three which are followed by the statement which is throwing an exception, okay, the control will go to the catch block. When an exception occurs in the statement one, that means the execution inside this try block will stop there itself, okay, and it will, it will immediately move to the catch block. So the following statement will not be executed. What if, what if we got the, what if we got the exception in the step two, that is statement two. We got exception here. Exception occurred here, let's say. In this case, what will happen here is the statement one will be executed. Okay. While executing the statement two, okay, while executing the statement two, the exception occurred. So the the execution of the code inside this try block will stop in the statement two itself and it it will immediately move to the jump to the catch block the statement three won't be executed, okay? It will not be executed because the exception has occurred in the statement two, okay? What if, what if we got the exception in the statement three itself? There's no problem because there are no other statements after statement three, okay? All the statements in the try block will be executed. So in simple terms, guys, in simple times, if you get an exception in this particular statement, inside the try block, if you have multiple statements and if you got an exception here, all the other below statements which are followed by that uh, exception throwing statement will not be executed. Okay. All the statements won't be executed. Okay. So guys, let me practically demonstrate that for you. Fine. I'll write some try block here. Inside this try block, I will write some statements. Let's say this is the first statement. Uh, I will say before exception, before exception in try block. Then here I will write a statement uh, which actually throws an exception. Say int a is equal to 10 divided by zero. What kind of exception do, the, does this particular statement will throw guys? It will throw an arithmetic exception, right? Second statement inside the try block is going to throw an exception. That's an arithmetic exception. And here I'm going to write a statement after exception in try block. Then here we are going to have a catch block. Exception e. Okay, system dot out dot print ln inside catch block. Okay, inside catch block. Like this, we have this try catch blocks. So when I run this program, what what will happen, guys? Can you guess what will happen when I run this program? Simple, guys. When you run this program, we'll go inside the try block, and this part, first statement will be executed. That is before exception in try block will be printed in the output. After that, this particular statement will be executed. That is second statement inside this try block where arithmetic exception will be thrown. Okay, this exception will be thrown by this statement. 
when the exception is thrown here all the other statements will be skipped okay this particular statement will not will not be ex executed when you got an ex exception immediately the controller will move to the catch block okay from the second statement we are moving to the catch block without executing this third statement we are directly moving to the catch block and finally inside catch block will be executed that is before exception and try block then we got an exception then inside catch block will be printed okay let's run this and see whether that is happening or not okay you see before exception in try block then here we got an exception this particular statement got skipped and finally we move to the catch block and inside catch block got printed here okay what if we didn't get an exception here what will happen in this case this this will be executed this will also be executed there will not be any exception since there is no exception here the statement following that particular statement will also be executed that is after exception in try block will be printed and since there is no exception in the try block catch block will be skipped right click run as job obligation so before exception in try block after exception in try block here we need to understand one thing guys if you are going to get an exception in one of the statements all the statement inside the try block if you are going to get an exception in one of the statements all the statements following that particular exception throwing statement will not be executed okay here when i say 10 by 0 this particular statement will not be executed guys because this particular statement is going to throw an arithmetic exception okay so guys uh, that's about uh, the statement execution in try block okay what will happen when you get an exception in one of the previous steps in the try block okay all the steps following that uh, exception step in the try block will not be executed okay so that's the thing so that's it guys in the next video session i'll explain about interfaces i'll explain about the interfaces see you in the next video session guys thank you bye